A few days ago, I planted some strawberries and I thought I'd show you guys today in honor of the strawberry moon. So, the strawberries that I ordered came with a fertilizer called microbial inoculum fertilizer. So, I thought I'd use that since it came with it and it combats diseases and just makes the plant stronger so I thought why not so I just prepared the soil with that and unfortunately the plants came in very clay soil again even though I made sure the store I got it from the pictures did have regular potting soil but This is what it came with, so I needed to break apart the soil really gently and make sure the roots were healthy. So I did that and also washed the soil off and unfortunately all three of them did have black roots and one of them was even completely black, um, but I still planted it in a separate pot. I don't know why. I mean, if the roots are black, it means it's dead, but I still did it. Um, the other two did have a lot more healthy roots, so, and I could see new healthy growth, so I just planted those in the container. I think in the future I would definitely just start from seed if I want to plant strawberries. Um, the only reason I got nursery plants is because it's already pretty late in the season so I didn't want to have to wait longer. But in the future I would definitely do that because this year I had no idea I would um, get into gardening even more and want to start things from seed so next year I will definitely keep that in mind. You seem like that kid that would like go to the middle of the grass and then like eat the soil and the worms. <laughs> So as you can see, the leaves all looked pretty healthy and here I'm just laying over some mulch. Um, most people use straw because they're strawberries, <laughs> um, but you can use any kind of mulch. I'm just using pine bark mulch and what that does is it suppresses weed, weeds sorry, <laughs> suppresses weeds, um, retains moisture, and lets the fruit sit on the mulch instead of the soil so that it doesn't rot. And I'm just watering it in very deeply and making sure the plant is all nice and settled and I won't water it again until the top layer is dry. I'm actually using a solution of water, cinnamon, baking soda, and garlic powder uh, just to keep away pests because they really don't like that smell. And here's just some satisfying watering footage for you. <laughs> This is what they look like after planting and the new leaves actually popped up and opened in a few days. Um, so 
so that was good. And I really don't know why I potted that one up. Um, after a few days, the new plant came and it still had a lot of black roots, but the leaves were looking really healthy, so I just chopped off the black roots and disinfected using a hydrogen peroxide and water solution and I let that soak for about three minutes and then I just planted it like normal um, and yeah thank you to my sister Gigi for filming this part I watered it in with a pesticide solution that I made a few days earlier. It's just garlic powder and baking soda and pepper and dish soap to keep the pests away. And this is how the other ones are doing. They're doing okay. I mean, there's a few limp leaves, but for the most part, it's doing all right and looking strong. You can see a worm dying there because of the pesticide. Oh, and yeah, she's dead. Um, I don't know why I planted her, <laughs> but this is my little garden and it's so cute. You can see the leaves are already starting to wilt for the one I just planted and it's currently dealing with very major transplant shock. So I definitely shouldn't have put it in the sun right after planting it. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, this was my strawberry planting video and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon.